Denver and Rio Grande Western Steam Locomotive No. 315 was built in 1895 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The 315 is a three-foot gauge C18 class consolidation locomotive having a 280 wheel arrangement. It originally went to work for the Florence and Cripple Creek Railroad in Colorado as their number three. In 1917, it was sold to the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad and was renumbered 425. When the DNRG was reorganized in the early 1920s, the locomotive was renumbered once again, this time to 315, the number it carries today. 315 served on many parts of the Denver and Rio Grande Western narrow gauge system until it was finally retired in 1949. The locomotive ended up being leased and eventually donated to the Durango, Colorado Chamber of Commerce for display to the public. This is likely what saved the locomotive from being scrapped. However, the 315 served one final role before being relegated to static display. It starred in the 1956 film Around the World in 80 Days as the locomotive Jupiter. Due to the locomotive's inoperable condition, it was pushed by a diesel locomotive made up as a baggage car for the filming. In 1999, the Durango Railroad Historical Society, a nonprofit organization dedicated to preserving narrow gauge railroad history in southwestern Colorado, was formed with the intention of restoring Locomotive 315 to operating condition. The Chamber of Commerce transferred ownership of the locomotive to the city of Durango in the year 2000, and with the permission of the city, the group began work on the restoration the following year. After thousands of hours of volunteer labor and over $400,000, the 315 was steamed up for the first time in 58 years in August of 2007. Since that time, the locomotive has participated in many special events at both the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad in Durango, Colorado, and the Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railroad from Shaman, New Mexico to Antonito, Colorado. We will follow the 315 on several special excursions on the Durango and Silverton Railroad from Durango to Silverton and then return. In 2010, the 315 pulled consists featuring vintage freight cars and Pullman Green passenger cars. These special trips were made as part of the annual Durango and Silverton Railfest event. Returning to Railfest again in 2013, the 315 pulled a four-car consist of mixed Rio Grande Gold and Pullman Green cars. This is Denver and Rio Grande Steam Train 315. Durango and Silverton. It is Sunday, August 18, 2013. Cloudy skies greet the train as it departs Durango for the 45 mile long journey up the Animas River Valley to Silverton.
As the 315 leads its train out of town, it nears the first crossing of the Animus, a river it will follow all the way to Silverton.
After a brief water stop at Hermosa, the train is once again rolling as it begins to climb a steep grade. Okay, my exercise is in today. Did you go up
train is entering a portion of the route known as the High Line. Perched precariously on a narrow ledge some 250 feet above the Animus River, the High Line is well known for its stunning views and beautiful scenery. Trains here are typically limited to a speed of 10 miles per hour as they move around the many tight curves in the area. Another water stop is made at Tank Creek. With two sharp reports on the whistle, the train begins to move north once more towards Silverton.
15 has brought the train into Silverton as a light rain begins to fall. After all the passengers are safely off the train, 315 backs up to drop off the passenger cars and return to the Silverton Northern Engine House where it will be stored until its next excursion run. On a much sunnier day, 315 leaves the engine house in Silverton in preparation for a southbound excursion to Durango. Fifteen reverses direction and backs toward the Y in Silverton where it will be turned and then coupled to a set of passenger cars for the southbound run. On both the 2010 and 2013 runs, several stops were made on the southbound trips, allowing photographers the opportunity to capture images of the train.
at Needleton, the excursion pulls into the siding to allow one of the regularly scheduled Durango and Silverton trains to pass.
stage is uh, the 15 C. We are once again rolling along the High Line, with the Animus River gurgling far below.
the Durango Depot just minutes away, the 315 nears the completion of another successful journey on the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad.
Without the generous effort by members of the Durango Railroad Historical Society, trips like these would not be possible and 315 would likely still be on static display. To learn more about the 315, the Durango Railroad Historical Society, and the group of hard-working volunteers that keep this wonderful piece of history a living part of the present, visit their website at drhs315.org. Ride on the Silverton train for yourself and experience all the natural beauty the Animus River Valley has to offer. Book your trip on the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. For more information, visit DurangoTrain.com.